I'm about tired of this car. Okay, so I drive a 2001 Lexus IS300 with a GTE motor swap from the Toyota Supra or the Toyota Aristo in Japan. And my car is being super annoying right now. So basically, um, I did the swap, got the swap done, drove the car for about two weeks, give or take. And um, I did that. And then all of a sudden I started having electrical issues with uh, the 10 amperage gauge fuse kept blowing. And I don't know why it is doing that. I don't know what's causing it to do that. But uh, basically I had to wire in a fuel pump switch because the Toyota Aristo motor and computer doesn't control the fuel pump like the Lexus IS300 does. In the Aristo and the Supra it has a separate fuel pump ECU. That controls the fuel pump tells it when to come on and turn off well the lexus is 300's factory computer tells the fuel pump to come on and come off and so since i'm missing that feature i had to run a um, fuel pump switch so one ground one load and um that's run to a wire on the ecu plug one of the ecu plugs that tells the um that interfaces with what was the fuel pump ecu but this is acting as my fuel pump ECU and telling it to come on. Okay, well, basically, it's not working. Every time I do this, it will the fuel pump will come on, you'll hear it, and it'll blow the fuse. And so that's where I'm at, basically. Okay. Battery's turned off right now. I have a circuit breaker on um, this battery that's a big fucking beetle holy shit anyway i have a circuit breaker on my battery since i had to relocate my battery to the trunk you know it's a good thing if something ever happens it'll blow the circuit breaker you know just go back there and reset and flip it you know it's more of a fire hazard safety ordeal thing but uh anyway power's on okay car's on turn the fuel pump on Everything shuts off. Only thing in the car that'll work will be the, um, I guess, the lights for the and the, yeah for the uh, cluster for the AC. So I'm at a loss here for, for what actually could be wrong with this car. I have too much shit in this car, but um, anyway, I don't know what it could be. Um, I thought maybe it could be an alternator issue, that maybe the alternator was sending too much voltage and causing it to blow, but I don't guess that that's it, because I have disconnected the alternator and it still does this, so taking the power cable off the alternator and um, unplug the alternator from the harness, so, and it still blows this, I don't know. I've checked all custom wiring I did. I've checked uh, the starter. I've checked battery relocation cables. I've even went in and rewired my fuel pump, redid the wiring on the fuel pump and everything. It still does it. So I'm leaning on now maybe my fuel pump is bad. And uh, if that's not it, maybe it's something to do with my switch. I have the interior tore apart right now because I was messing with all this stuff. So here's my mindset right now. Maybe. The switch is drawing too much power. Maybe the fuel pump is sending too much power. I know the fuel pump runs 12 volts, I believe. Um, maybe it's running more than that. I don't know. What I have done is that's a 10 amp fuse that it keeps blowing. It's blowing the gauge fuse. Um, I replaced the 10 amp fuse with a 15 amp fuse, and the fuel pump will come on long enough for the car everything in the car to work but when I go to turn the actual key it blows the fuse again so uh, I don't know I, I assume that there's a short somewhere with the fuel pump with my wiring and I can't find it because I traced all the wires so I don't know where to go from here I guess what I can do is rip the back seat out and um, mess with the fuel pump pull the fuel pump out and replace it I have my stock fuel pump Somewhere I'm using a Walboro LPH 255 because that's typically what the super guys run. 
and what most of the guys with IS 300s that turbo them run and um, go from there I guess I could try to put my factory one on and see if it still does this I don't know uh, maybe it just have, might have a bad fuel pump I don't know um, getting real aggravated with this car drive is great though oh my gosh it's amazing whenever the boost comes on I'm still on the stock everything so I'm only on like eight nine pounds of boost and it's still it's it's pretty fast it's got a hundred and twelve mile an hour speed limiter in it and it hits it pretty damn quick so um, I'd like to see what it would do with one the, the speed limiter cut out and um, take the boost cut out of there run about 15 16 pounds of boost and uh, see what she would run in the quarter it'd be great so I need to get it running first I'd like to go with the speed cut and the fuel cut I mean the boost cut which is fuel cut boost cut fuel cut same thing uh, I'd like to go to the drag strip and see what the car would run I would like to see if I could break into a 13 flat or something but um, I need to do that What's wrong? What's done to the car so far is, for one, it's a full GTE motor swap, stock twins, front mount intercooler, uh, ABS. I mean, yeah, it's kind of just chilling right there on top of the motor, but it's relocated into that corner because the ABS was right here. Um, anyway, stock twin turbos, got an air motive fuel pressure regulator. This is just wiring for a uh, for my temp sensor because the temp sensor on the factory cluster doesn't work after doing this motor swap but that's not that's not what's causing it because it's completely unhooked and it still does it also um, got some new ABS brake lines and uh, that's about it aftermarket cold air uh, front mount intercooler twin motor um, it's got a three inch one piece Aluminum drive shaft from Drift Motion. Factory Toyota Supra automatic transmission, four speed. Um, battery relocated to the trunk. And that's about it. That's really all I can think of. But uh, interior is completely tore apart. Look how many fuses it's blown. All those fuses sitting on the ground right there, yeah, those are all fuses that are blown while I have tried different things. Uh, with this system as to why it could be blowing I have no idea um, so I just thought about something else maybe that it could potentially be um, somebody online made a suggestion that I honestly hadn't even thought about until now that uh, maybe it could actually be my actual switch like the toggle switch or it's a rocker style switch so um, I'm going to go and see if AutoZone carries any different switches other than the ones that I have and uh, buy one of those and try that I don't know maybe that has something to do with it I'm gonna buy I have a little rocker switch right now I guess I'm going to try an actual toggle switch like a flip switch and uh, we'll go from there see if that maybe that has anything to do with it I don't know uh, all right so bought a toggle switch bought one of these actual toggle style switches and not a rocker switch so uh, this one doesn't have a ground post only a power and load so uh, we'll go from there I guess <laughs> time to uh, see if this is worth it spent $11 on that switch so you know screw that back home now going to uh, try to switch up Nice to know I left my keys in the car. <laughs> Ain't like it's going nowhere anyway. Somebody couldn't steal it if they wanted to. Let's uh, see what we can come up with. Okay, so. Got the uh, switch wired up. Turned off right now, I think. Anyway, let's find out. Oh yeah, that's right, I think I had the power turned off. Whoopsie! Okay, so everything came on.
Something's not working. <laughs>